Welcome, Deronda here with Foods 101. Today, I'm showing you how to make these angel biscuits. You heard that right. Angel biscuits made with yeast. Don't let this intimidate you. Simple and easy to do. The ingredients you're gonna need is five cups of all-purpose flour, two cups of buttermilk. I use a whole buttermilk. It makes all the difference in flavor. One half cup of all vegetable cubed shortening. One half cup of chilled cubed butter. This can be salted or unsalted. One teaspoon of baking soda, five teaspoons of baking powder, one and a half teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of sugar, one half cup of water. This is a lukewarm water between 100 to 110 degrees Fahrenheit. And you're going to need one one fourth package of your instant yeast. This can be regular yeast or rapid rise. And I'm using the rapid rise today. First, we're gonna add the yeast to this water and I'm adding it here into this warm water. The water is like lukewarm, like a lukewarm bath water. I'm adding the sugar to activate the yeast in the water. Stir these three ingredients until you can no longer see the yeast. That looks good. Now we're gonna sit this off to the side and let it do its thing. In a large bowl, I'm adding all that all-purpose flour, the baking soda, the baking powder, the salt. With a whisk, we're going to incorporate these ingredients very well. And that looks fabulous. Add that chilled cube butter. Make sure you keep that butter in the refrigerator till you're ready to use it. And your all vegetable cubed shortening. I like using a pastry tool to blend my shortenings and butter into my dry ingredients by just rolling it back and forth. If you don't have a pastry tool like this, you may use two knives like this and cut your shortening and butter into your dry ingredients. Make sure you hold your knives close together like this or you can use a fork to also blend your fats in with your dry ingredients a food processor you may use that too but i grew up with my grandmothers making their biscuits with a little pastry tool like this and this is what i inherited from them it's made many many biscuits in my childhood and in my adulthood you want this looking like cornmeal so you're going to spend some time cutting in that shortening with your dry ingredients and i'll be back to show you what it looks like you see that that looks like almost a cornmeal texture and that's what you're looking for i'm going to make a well here in the center getting it ready for my wet ingredients you see how that yeast has really rise look how frothy it is and I'm just gonna stir it and my buttermilk into the center of my dry ingredients. And with the spatula, you wanna make sure you get it all out of there. Add our yeast. Gently, we're going to bring in our dry ingredients with our wet ingredients until you can no longer see flour and the flour is absorbed into the wet ingredients you don't want to over mix your dough here this is beginning to look exactly the way it needs to and i've got some dry flour there in the bottom you just want to make sure you don't leave any dry flour anywhere in your bowl here we're going to cover this once we get all that dough off of our spatula, I'm going to cover this with saran wrap and we're gonna let this sit in the refrigerator overnight or up to five days. That's right, you can let it sit in the refrigerator up to five days, but it needs to sit in there at least three to four hours or overnight before rolling it out. Off to the refrigerator it goes. I've had my angel biscuit dough sitting in the refrigerator overnight. And look at that dome that's come up on that plastic wrap right here. I see they've rised a little bit. I'm removing the plastic wrap. Remember, you can use this dough refrigerated up to five days. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use half the biscuit dough to make biscuits this morning. Cover this up and refrigerate it and use it whenever you like. Lightly flour a surface pat out your biscuit dough a little bit and we're gonna roll it out make sure you got flour here on the bottom so it's not going to stick i'm gonna punch this out until it's three fourths of an inch 
thick. I measure the end of a wooden spoon and mark three fourths inch so that way you have a rough figure of how thick your dough is. And that looks absolutely perfect. I'm gonna fold it in half. You can just shake off that flour. Fold it in half. Fold it in half again. This is a technique that will make these biscuits so light and fluffy and melt in your mouth. With the rolling pin, I'm gonna roll this out to three, four, seven inch thick. So I've got my spoon here. I'm measuring it. I need to roll it out just a little bit more. It doesn't take long. That looks perfect. With a two round inch dough cutter, I'm gonna begin making my biscuits. I can't figure out where I wanna start. Let's start here on the end. Make sure you flour it and closely cut out your biscuits. As close as you can get them. That way, you'll get more biscuits. But I'm also gonna show you how to use the leftover dough. I've got my biscuits cut out. I'm gonna put them over here on a cookie sheet that I've lined with parchment paper. Not necessary, but you wanna definitely lightly grease the bottom if you're not gonna be using parchment paper. But I love the way this parchment paper makes the bottom of these angel biscuits looks. It's beautiful and golden. Make sure the sides of those biscuits are going to touch. This will ensure a beautiful rise on your angel biscuits. For that leftover dough, we're just gonna gather it up, give it a little kneading like this a few times. Make sure your surface is floured. Roll this out to three-fourths of an inch thick. The same as we did our other biscuits. Sure, it doesn't have to be perfect. We can just start cutting out more biscuits. Before I put them into a piping hot, preheated, 400 degree Fahrenheit oven, I like to brush the tops with a little bit of butter. It'll make it golden and delicious in taste. There we are, off to that preheated oven on the middle rack for the next 15 to 20 minutes or until they're golden in color. Use your timer and no peeking. Baked angel biscuits and look how beautiful and fantastic they are. And if you could be here and smell how wonderful and delicious they are. Oh my goodness, look, they're piping hot. Just got them out of the oven. Probably see the steam coming up. Look how lovely and delicious those are. Oh yeah, woo, and they are warm. And look at all the layers, woo, that's hot. See how they really puff up when you bake them very close together. So always bake your biscuits close together. It would be just as good if I didn't add the butter. Here goes. And look at that lovely golden bottom. Mmm, melt in your mouth, delicious. And you can't forget the jam. Mm-hmm, blackberry jam is what I'm using, but you use your favorite, gotta try it. These are the best, a perfect biscuit. Not only for breakfast, but any time of the day. You're not gonna be able to just eat one. I'm Deronda with Foods 101. Leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, hit that notification bell to be the first to get my new YouTube food videos. Thanks a million for watching you all, and I'll catch you lovely people later. Mm -hmm.